All right. Happy Tuesday. <laughs> Happy Good. Tuesday. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. D- Basilio. No, this is the Human Wonders podcast. Uh. Yeah, good morning. No, it's actually afternoon. Okay, true. Yeah, it's it 12. Is, it's, it's 1. one. It's one twenty one. Why'd you think it was 12? I mean, All okay. right. Let's, okay. let's we have to say good morning highlights. anyway, though. Let's okay. do highlights, yeah. Ashley, highlights. get on. Ashley, he's on. Angel, tell Ashley to, to unmute herself. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Ashley, unmute yourself. <laughs> <laughs> what? Ten- there you go. It worked. Wow, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. The feelings are... It's mutual. <laughs> Yeah, we're starting. We're we're okay. starting, Ashley. Yeah, Nicole's here. By the way. Hi. Oh shoot. Hi, Nicole. Hi. Hi. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's do highlights. Wow. Start with highlights. Hey, okay, Caleb, you go first. All right. Wait, why am I going first? Because you have one. Oh yeah. All right. <laughs> so, my highlights is it was my oh yeah i remember now okay so um i've been getting a bunch of wins daily i think i had like a three-day streak which i broke today that's fine (laughs) um uh but i hit my golden win yesterday because i got 15 wins and i'm 15 yeah that's it wow and also yay I, I no, you'll slept get one until you'll ten get one today. Chance. I slept until ten today. That was <laughs> no. great. Slept until eleven. You only get one chance. All right, who wants to go next? Daniel should go next. Me? Let's go in alphabetical ahead. order. Angel, uh, you're next. Dang. That's, <laughs> actually, my last name is H. It should be actually next. Yeah, but we're doing first names. Yeah, but you went first, and your name is Caleb. Yeah, that's because you... I'm Asian. Okay. So A, Asian. Okay. Wow. That's how it works. Uh, Angel, Angel is before Asian, though, in the dictionary. <laughs> you know, Angel, um, just okay. I'm sorry. I'll, it doesn't work so, like that. So, um, I I went on a mission trip uh, last week, and oh. I I got to serve a bunch of little children and they all called me a girl because my long hair <laughs> <laughs> that is beautiful i know it was very precious yeah and was, <laughs> yeah so i got to do that and then uh we although it was 20 minutes away we had to stay there every night and i got like no sleep but it was really great because i got no sleep and i was really tired all the time but it's okay okay yeah. awesome. you know it's great though Wait. Yeah. Oh yeah, and I saw Incredibles too. Nice. Pretty amazing. I wonder if Mr. Atkins ever got to see Infinity War. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the voucher. <laughs> Is it like theater got like <laughs> oh, another, one out. another another I got the I got all the stones. I figured You I only get No, 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 you didn't get all of them, no. Angel. I told you, you misinterpreted it. You don't yeah, have this is a mistranslation no, on the song. You just stuff. got a stronger grip on the four that you always had. What do you yeah. mean? No. I'm so confused. This is for discussion later. Then let's okay. let's finish highlights. No, I did get all the stones and I know. No, no you we'll did it. I'm the one that made later. the stones. He knows the stones. Okay, I'm gonna ask you about this later and then I'll explain to you why I had I do yes. all the stones. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Doc, you're next. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, wow, let me think. Okay, uh, I got a bunch of books from the library. Oh, I bought them, wow. actually. And uh, I posted Wait. it a while back, but now I'm actually reading them. And I-, I was reading only the summer reading, but right now I'm reading uh, Politics by Aristotle. So that's great. Hey. That's pretty that's, great. That sounds interesting. Oh yeah, he he said slavery is okay, so it's interesting. That is very interesting. Kind of yeah. want to read it more. Yeah, cool. but it, it's a good book. All right, that's my highlight. Bravo. Okay, Laura, you're next. I, um. Oh, wait, um, no, Ashley's oh, next. Sorry. Oh yeah, Ashley, Ashley, you're next. Ashley, yeah. Highlights. highlights and housekeeping okay well the mission trip was really fun i went on that too 
and then I got to eat spaghetti with Angel yesterday, and that was really fun. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. That's <laughs> There's some good spaghetti. <laughs> was Abraham there too? No, he wasn't. <laughs> was he dressed right, up in a costume? No, he wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> the oh, yeah, the hot dog. <laughs> Did he have the starter pack skin? Uh, <laughs> All right, your turn, Laura. Um, My backyard got a makeover, and it has a porch now and a playground. It's pretty neat. Wow. Yeah. Okay, nice. All right. Yeah. Uh, so let's start on December. Wait, wait, wait! Does anybody have any housekeeping? We are going uh, to read. Cha- we're going to discuss the one. Oh no, chapters. No, that's the agenda. We don't do the agenda yet. First, we do the housekeeping. That's what housekeeping uh, is. Oh, oh, housekeeping. Oh yeah, that's uh, right. Uh, are we gonna do an episode tomorrow or not? No. No. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Alrighty. Was that the Open your book. I have a housekeeping. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, you know what? It's fine. Never mind. That's right. Let's okay. Let's just do this. So this is taking too long. Open your books to 56, page 56. What? I don't, I don't have my book yet, so I'm just... Oh, you got a zero. zero. <laughs> no. Wait, no, no, Laura. We never even discussed the first chapter. We didn't? No. no. You... Oh. We did not. Okay, we're on uh, Guigamar. Guigamar. I don't know. I think Gugamar. it's Gui Gigamar. I added right. the G, but that's okay. I'm going to send this to Mr. Crab, and he's going to get mad at you. Lost okay. Tenacious. Oh, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right. We'll start our chapter. And make sure right. you have a notebook and a writing utensil. Wait, so I need to get my uh, paper thingy. See, I wasn't prepared for this. Nothing. <laughs> you look. And notebook and a writing utensil, nothing else. You may have a water Wait, bottle. Where did my, <laughs> my paper go? All right, we should first Shoot, start I took a right picture here. of it. You hmm. came unprepared. That's a zero. Hmm. Oh, it's okay. I pinned it to the, the, the chat. I can just look at it from my phone. Oh, that one. Yeah, I, lost. I don't know where that went. <laughs> All right, sorry, didn't I? <laughs> All right, we should start out by Wait. summarizing the the book before we discuss it. That's a good idea. All right. Yeah. All right. So, Gugamar. Uh. Mm-hmm. Who's gonna Who's gonna uh start uh summarizing? Uh, I'll start. Um, I'll start from the beginning. Um, so Guigamar is a really handsome knight, right? And he doesn't, he has a hard time finding love, even though all the ladies want him. He just doesn't love any of them back. And so one day he goes hunting because he was sad. And, um, was it, uh, uh, a deer or something? Like he shoots it a deer. It was a white stag, I was think. A stag, yeah. yeah. And like, so he shoots it with his arrow and the arrow bounces back from the deer. Or the stag, hey, and it hits his thigh and pours. I'm raising my hand with three fingers. I gotta go because I just do like. Oh, so, okay, okay, go. Rest. I'm sorry, but you, uh, <laughs> I hope you guys have a good wait, wait, wait. 2020. You have to you have to wait one minute. Oh my gosh, yeah. fine. <laughs> my mom needs me, guys. Uh, okay, yeah, all right. Okay, Bye, it's been a go. minute. You can go. No, it hasn't. I'll wait. <laughs> anyway. Uh, uh, like he, go, go, whatever his name is, he gets wounded, and then because of the arrow, and then the animal is like, "Okay, you're not gonna get healed, or you won't be able to heal yourself unless you find love." And then he's like, "Oh crap, what am I gonna do?" Wait, but Doc, it's more than love. He said like <laughs> someone that loved him so much yeah, that they were willing like, to yeah, well, it's it's the yeah. Guys, yeah. is the is the book The Lays of Mary de France, or is it not? Yes. yes. Yeah. Yes. It's actually Marie. Okay. It's and a dollar. Lies. The Lies of Marie. You got it for a dollar? On iBooks it is. I, I oh, it's like e-book. 15 bucks. Yeah, but I'm actually, getting Actually, I have it. no idea how much. Yeah, it just says $15 on top of it. Whatever. All right, let's continue the discussion. Anyway, yeah, it's not just love. It's like, um... Like, well, they like, both have to suffer for each other. 
Yeah. <clears throat> and then he's like, oh, crap, what am I going to do? So then he uh, he went to, like, these ships, and he, uh, he, he, like, went into the ship, and then he, like, lied down in the ship, and then it, like, sailed away to some... Perfectly uh, to another... <laughs> To yeah, another yeah. land. <laughs> another land. And there's a girl there, like a girl, and she's a... a Not just a girl. A, a, a lady, a lady of high birth, uh, as the book calls She's it. married to the king. Yeah, the lord. Uh, yeah. And she, uh, like, the lord is super jealous, and, like, he doesn't, he keeps her in a tower. So she's pretty sad about that. And then she sees the guy. No, no, wait, wait. it wasn't in the tower. It was in, like, um, a cage. No, was that the no, cage? no. She's just not that allowed. Was the cage. <laughs> oh, I thought she it was in like a, a, an elaborately decorated cage. Because <laughs> uh, oh, then, because okay. after the whole thing, she gets moved to a tower. He did not take lightly the task of guarding her. In such a garden, at the foot of uh, garden at the foot <laughs> of the keep was an enclosure with a thick, high, well made of green marble. See, I told you it was like, an elaborate cage. Yeah, oh, okay. I see. I I missed, I paid in that. Um, he pyramided her. He. Par- <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyways. Yeah. Continue. Uh, I think somebody else should. I don't want one person dominating the discussion. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Caleb, All right, I'll go next. All right. So, lady, uh, she fights the dude. <laughs> oh my gosh. Come on. I can do this. Caleb. Caleb. Where did he go? Ah, I think something's he can't, wrong. He can't sleep, just like Angel at the mission trip. Um, <laughs> just going to use some higher level analysis. <laughs> um, let's see. Yeah. Anyway, so he can't sleep and he keeps thinking about her. He's like wondering if she likes him too. And then the lady is doing the same thing. And then you have the maiden girl that was with the lady. And she, like, kind of, like, hears both of their secrets because they both tell her. And then she tells them to meet up or whatever. And then they're talking. No, 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 then... no, no, no. He was not feeling well. And so the lady comes to his oh, room. Yeah. And then he's like, oh, my gosh, I love you so much. And she's like, no, that's improper. And then he's like, oh, come on. And then she's like, oh, okay. And then they lay in bed. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, yeah, this was a long time ago. Okay, yeah. And so then um, they're sitting there, whatever. Oh, there's a priest guy, too. We just mentioned him. There's a priest on the island thingy. Anyway, um, and so for a long time, they're there, and nobody knows about them. And then... They're just hanging out in his room the, for, like, a the, year. Mr. I'm going to call him Mr. G. Mr. G, um, he he's like, yo, we're about to get caught. And then she's like, no, we're not. Chill. And then they get caught. And then... No, 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 no. no. Remember, they made the, yes. the problem. <laughs> we're like she's oh i think oh yeah with the belt and the shirt movie. that's right yeah 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 she she like he's like oh here tie the knot on my shirt and she ties the belt and Why? then they had a really complicated belt buckle for her um and it was for a year and a half yeah they were together and then and then uh, the girl like she got uh super depressed right and then she like she was gonna go and like uh like drown herself yeah and then she got on the ship and it sailed away yeah and then when she got there they heard about uh mr g like she heard about him and let me uh, point point in the text where it says that Uh, but like first um, some some other dude captured her or whatever yeah his name was yeah mr m M. (laughs) oh yeah yeah yeah. i'm pretty sure it's mariah duck yeah, but I'm just gonna call Mr. M. Anyway, and then, and then now it's Ashley's turn. Yeah, but, but Ashley is not on. Oh, did she leave? Oh, shoot, I didn't Angel know. Angel and Ashley are both gone. <laughs> wow. Okay, now it's Craig's turn. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> okay, go ahead, Laura. You can go. Um. 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 Oh, that's right. The, all the guys are like. They wanted to marry her, and she said no. And then, 
and then finally, eventually, they ended up meeting up with one another, and they untied each other's knots, and then they get married and happily ever after. With great joy, he took away his beloved. This Now his tribulations were over. That was great. Yeah, okay, so I think um, since there's only three of us, we shouldn't continue with the other two books, but we should just discuss this one. Yeah. yeah. All right. <clears throat> um, so what does the prompt want us to do again? It uh, said, let's see, hold on. I have it right here. Yeah, it says, it purchase and, okay, wait, not that one. Uh, oh, here we go. Okay. What is the basis of love between a man and a woman as represented um, in the thingy, the lies? How mm-hmm. do they know who to love? Number two, how common are supernatural events and beings in these stories? And how do the characters in the lies react to them? Choose one or two examples from the stories. That's good because we have the stag for that. Does good yeah. conquer evil in these stories? Number four, compose. Oh, yeah. Okay. Those are the three questions. Yeah, I think that um, in uh, for the does good conquer evil, I think that uh, this story uh, sort of uh, touches on like there's there's like a good and an, like an evil, and I guess um, the evil like I, actually uh, forget what I said. What I do want to discuss is how um, like the role of suffering. Uh, when I was reading oh, yeah. this, one thing that stood out to me was this quote in a, a page forty six and. Uh, the walls of the chamber were covered in paintings in which Venus, the goddess of love, was skillfully depicted together with the nature and obligations of love, how it should be observed oh, yeah. in loyalty and good service. And um, I, that's a theme that I, I currently I'm in the Lan- Lanville, I think that's how you pronounce it. And that's, a, that's something that I keep on seeing. Like there's uh, this idea of loyalty and good service that love is founded on. And, uh, and there's there's one story. Uh, uh, oh, Bis, uh, Bis Claveret. Like we see that loyalty and good service. Like people don't follow that. I think we the see, T is silent. A uh, Bis Claveret. Yeah, I think so. So like we see how um, <laughs> how, uh, there's there's this idea of retribution in these stories, and when you don't uh when you don't follow the obligations of love, like in that in Bits Clavere, you see uh, the woman gets punished, but I'm not going to spoil it for the viewers out there. But Oh, love, I know what happens, yeah. Yeah, but there's there's this idea on what love is, and this story um, almost attests to that. Like, there's um, loyalty and good service, I mean. Mm. I see. That's pretty good. What I find kind of interesting is like how they kind of like put the they let's say we take Mr. G um as the hero of the story, right? But then if you think about it, he's technically in the wrong cuz you know this dude's wife is cheating on him. So like yeah. Yeah. But then you think of it almost like he is is like good the way that the story is put into place like their love like almost overcomes the barrier between right and wrong making what they're doing oh uh like okay or even like good. Mhm. Yeah, because it was already predestined like uh like the the lady like was destined to uh to marry uh Mr. G. Like it was supposed to happen. So mm-hmm. like Right and wrong can be warped in the in the grand scheme of whatever supernatural being is guiding uh, these stories. I, I, I oh. haven't seen. I've, oh yeah. What, what were you gonna say? Um, I was gonna say, like it it is wrong that he, like he definitely says like, oh come on, you know, just it, I I love you so much it'll like hurt me if you don't give me your love like i think that act of cheating is definitely still wrong but like what is 
de also wrong. It depends whether she uh, truly loved the king in the first place. So if she married him without not actually loving him, um, that act on its own is wrong. And then later on, finding her true love, um, she she needs to like realize realize that she finds her true love, and then like confront her <laughs> her husband and be honest about this. Um, like, like there, there's still like right and wrong factors here. Like the fact she cheated is still wrong, um, even though she does find her true love that she really does love. Um, yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah, but uh, that's a good point. And uh, th what what is right and wrong? Uh, sort of is wholly contingent on who is uh, defining it in each situation. So, like, uh, this, um, I, I can assume that these uh, actions that are happening in the story are not by random or by, by chance. I mean, they're, they're happening because there's like a supernatural. There's a supernatural world, and that supernatural world is, uh, 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 it's a prominent theme in in these stories. And uh, whatever the, the supernatural world like outlines this destiny and uh the uh the hind uh defined like there's a, there's just a, a fate that um, there's a, there's something that you have to do and you're sort of destined to do it and mm -hmm. what the the act of cheating is wrong in so much as the supernatural being uh defines it as such but what uh this this vice if you want to call it that is sanctioned under um what the supernatural being wants and what should happen. Mm -hmm. I see. So it's like everything that happens, whether it be right or wrong, it's just it, it's just bound to happen. It's, and it's mm -hmm. um, it's the plan of uh, fate. It's it's their fate. That's mm -hmm. yeah. I see. Yeah. I actually really like this story. I didn't think I would like this book. But yeah. I'm really liking it. Yeah. Um, right. So we answered number three, I think, pretty well. Oh, um, and they, the love isn't in these in this story in particular. Love isn't necessarily something that makes people happy because in page forty nine, like uh, a little bit above uh, above the middle, it says. Uh, uh, Mr. G says, I am inflamed with such love that if I do not receive uh, succor, I shall be in a sorry plight. And that quote, like, it, it, it what, what I got from it, at least, is that, um, that love doesn't necessarily give you happiness. Like, it can, it can make you, like, uh, well, sad, as, uh, the story showed, like, uh, I forgot, I forgot where it is, but, um, oh, yeah, in page 48, like, towards the bottom, it says, if, he, if she refuses my request and is arrogant or harsh, and I must die of grief and languish forever from this ill. So, like, love does, love is, love does not necessitate happiness. And that's what this story shows. Hmm. Yeah. That's definitely true. I see what you mean. All right. All right. Yeah. Let's move on to question one. <laughs> if we can't an if we can't answer each one, that's totally fine. That's okay. I think we can do it. It's okay to have some unanswered questions at the end of your essay. Yeah. At the end of the discussion. <laughs> yeah. What is the basis of love between a man and a woman, as represented in the? Lies, or in how in do Mr. they know? story, and how do they know who to love? So the basis. I know. Or I think at least I think I know, and now that means I don't know. Um, but uh, it seems so far that like they know who to love just by like their instinct or like their heart cells and like they'll see them like in the case with mr g he's just sitting there and he's like oh wait a minute i love this person but then for all the other people back home 
he's just he just doesn't care about any of the the women there. Like he just kind of knows. I think part of it could have been the. Sorry. Yeah. No, I'm done. <laughs> part of it could have been like uh, I want to say, like uh, foretelling of this. So like the stag told him, "Oh, you have to." He gave him like very detailed sort of foretelling of like you you will have to find the love and both of you will suffer very much for each other's love and then when he finds that like his emotions are like burning he finds that he's like oh this one must be the one so i think part of the foretelling is helps uh kind of say like oh this is the person that you should love and yeah also in like the instincts or like the initial reaction they get um that plays part of it too What do you think, Doc? Me? Uh, yeah. Well, I I did mention that uh, a part of the basis of love requires loyalty and uh, good service, and how in later books uh, that doesn't seem to like work out well for characters. But a, a basis of love that I see, like that I can't like ignore is that it's like a love of like appearance and like obligation like there isn't like like the love that i see these characters have is whole is um it has a lot to do with like how they look and uh like there's Mm -hmm. and they also like have they feel this obligation that we Mm -hmm. have to uh love each other like we were like made for each other so i think that a basis of love has to do with like appearance and it also has to do with um it's it's a love that that is very uh it's very contingent on like a destiny and like uh and as uh Caleb said intuition like i i feel like we have to be together and if we and if uh if we're not together my life has no purpose like he like the uh that's that's a quote that i often see like uh if if we can't go out with each other like if, if we can't like uh if we can't marry each other and love each other, then there's no purpose to my life anymore because my life has been leading up to this moment. Yeah, I, I agree with that. Yeah. So the next question? Uh, oh, how common are supernatural events and beings? And how do the characters in the lives react to them? There's oh, obviously okay. you see the stag in this story. Oh my gosh, no! There's one. Your part is like how he just goes randomly to a boat, sleeps on there, is perfectly comfortable, and yeah. then is perfectly sailed to another land. Yeah. And, and this lady just so happens to have this urge to walk in there, and she finds him and takes him to her kingdom. That I found that pretty supernatural. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, and they're like they're like totally like unaffected by it. Like it 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 just seems like <laughs> second, it just seems like it's like second nature. Like it's totally yeah, like oh, this happens every day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like uh, yeah. Yeah, like it it kind of makes one thing like it's supernatural. Sort of like presupposes that it's beyond the natural, but there seems to be a conflation in like this uh, like human world. And like this, like uh, transcendent realm, and like they're they're like very interconnected, and like they they both uh, encompass each other, and yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know we're not discussing this books, but at least what I saw, I didn't see any supernatural events or beings in Equitin or La France, La France, say whatever her name is. Yeah. But it was definitely a bit clever. I know, yeah. <laughs> the werewolf. <laughs> yeah, and we'll get to this when we uh, discuss it, but this cabaret reminds me of, like, uh, like, a Samson and Delilah sort of thing. That trope. Like, you have uh, these two individuals in love, and then there's deceit on the woman's side, like, or um, there's, like, a deceit, and there's, like, a revenge. Like, when I was reading that, I just sort of thought of that. Hmm.
<clears throat> well, yeah, I think uh, we're done. That was any, pretty good. Any final thoughts? Oh yeah, any final thoughts? Um, uh, uh, uh. Nah, I like this book. Nah. <laughs> All right, do I end the recording now? Yeah, just say you're dismissed, and then we end the recording because you know we're dismissed. <laughs> All right, three, two, one. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're you're dismissed. Uh.